Welcome to another video from the Trader Guy at thetraderguy.com. In this video, uh, this is one that I found interesting to chart uh, the pound dollar, and it is January 2nd that I'm looking at. Now, this is a pair, and I'll go ahead and zoom out to the weekly chart, that I think uh, could be very, very bullish going uh, into the future. And as you can see, Going back uh, some time, we had, and I'll go ahead and draw it out for you, we had a triangle that we broke out of. And this ascending triangle uh, signaled to move up to 163, and that's exactly what we got eventually. And this was back in the summer of 2012. We pulled back and we retested this previous resistance with a perfect hammer on the weekly chart and shot back up so we broke out we came back uh, you know what was once the ceiling has now become the floor and we went higher so that's that's kind of the backdrop because of this uh, I suggested that we were going back to 163 again and we of course did as you can see but what was interesting was two weeks ago we had this shooting star and that looked like we were going to stay in this consolidation we had a hammer after that and that looked like we were consolidating higher in other words, there was mass confusion. The markets didn't really know where to go. And it looked like from about 161 or so up to about 163, we we're going to consolidate. So that's our background. Go ahead and go back to the daily chart. And you can see what the candlestick is for the day. It's a few minutes before the, the switch over. It's about a half an hour or so. So the, the, the stick could change a little bit between now and when you see the uh, video. But essentially, you see what we've got. We've got a shooting star. And it's a perfect one at that. This is a perfect example of, and somebody had asked me why I wait till the close of a candle recently. And this is why uh, waiting till a close of a candle is uh, a much more conservative way to play the markets. Now, my own opinion notwithstanding, because I personally think this is just a pullback waiting to happen. I don't think it's a, tr a trend change. But nonetheless, you could have very easily bought this pair on a breakout above the 163 level and you would be very upset with yourself right now because when you look at the charts now you can see that this thing is screaming that it's it, it's very likely that we will see a pullback of some sort at this point we just did not have the momentum to break out now on the fundamental side and I'm not a big fundamentalist but we did have the fiscal cliff deal signed uh, overnight and that's essentially what pushed the market higher in Asian trading and if you look at the euro dollar it's a similar chart on the same day and everything so the fact is we couldn't break out on that so that that really would have me concerned if I was overly bullish and already in the marketplace and in fact if I were already long this chart I would probably be willing to put a stop loss right underneath the, the candle and if it took me out so be it but having said that um, the daily candle did not give me the signal that I was looking for and that says something that says that this resistance is much tougher than we thought of course we've been grinding higher and again I think it'll eventually give way and we have actually at this point in time found an even better signal in the sense that if we let me go ahead and remove this and change the color a little bit make sure um, if we break back over the 163 level, that again is resistance being broken above, and that's that's pretty significant. But now that we have the shooting star up here, if we break above that as well, now we're breaking an entire region of resistance, and that is much more important. However, looking at this chart, it's not what I would expect, but it certainly is a possibility. Because remember, when a candle gets broken to the wrong way, so to speak, if it's a shooting star or a hammer or whatever, that's a pretty significant signal in and of itself alternately if we break the bottom of course that's a sell signal but again I think we'll probably find something down here around 161 maybe as low as 160 and uh, could see support there as well so I think we're just basically pulling back but the gist of this video was to show the importance of at least if you're going to aim for the big pips and you're not trading intraday waiting for the daily close because when you bring this down to the hourly chart you can see the first couple hours of Asian trading looks very healthy but the rest of this looks horrible and sometimes when a market doesn't act quite right it does mean something 
Okay, if you enjoyed the video, come to the TraderGuy.com, check out the free educational forums. And if you have any questions, feel free to email me at chris at the TraderGuy.com. Thanks.